your drone license as a visitor in Canada. Earlier, we answered the question, can a visitor fly drones in Canada? So if you are here for travel, work, or study and decided to get your drone license, then this video will answer all your questions. First, you need to get a basic or advanced license just like Canadians, and then submit a SFOC, Special Flight Operations Certificate. Sounds easy, right? Now let's look at this from a timeline perspective. Transport Canada says an SFOC should be issued within 30 working days, and at the time of application, you must have passed the online basic or advanced exam. So if you're getting a basic license, just pass the exam, submit the SFOC application, wait the 30 working days, and off you go. But if you are getting the advanced license, then after passing the online advanced exam, you need to submit the SFOC application, wait for it before taking the flight review. Your SFOC application will be issued with a condition to pass the flight review before getting your advanced license. The SFOC application is a simple two-page form that mostly asks questions about you and what you fly. But here are two questions we often get. First, Canadian Air Law states that non-Canadians cannot register aircraft, including drones, in Canada. So what to use for your drone registration number? Well, after submitting the SFOC application, you'll receive an ATS number. That's the one used as your drone registration number, both on the display and with NAP Canada for flight planning. Second, the SFOC also asks for dates and location of your flight. So does this mean you have to apply every time before a flight? Especially with a 30 working day processing time, this doesn't seem possible. Well, here's the trick. Try to keep your answers general. There's nothing in the SFOC that says you can only put one date or one location. So a common answer is one year duration between the start and finish time, and Canada-wide meeting the advanced operations requirements for the location. Trust me, as long as your request is reasonable, Transport Canada also doesn't want the administrative burden of processing a SFOC for every flight. Now, if you're ready to start with the drone pilot license, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and follow the links in our video description.